story time. Topic is education. <laughs> From Rhea Arenga Lisa. Education. Uh, well, ngayon, and dami lagi nagtatanong alam ko students are always curious. Hey, do you have to finish studies to become a flight attendant? Pwede mo senior high para maging flight attendant. Ako, lagi ito advice ko. Focus on your studies as a student. Yan lang ang pwede niyong gawin. And if you have the opportunity to get a four-year degree, or basta makapag-college ka, kung four-year degree, di better. Please take it. It's a blessing eh. Blessing yung mabigyan ng opportunidad na mag-aaral. So, kung nandiyan na, bakit hindi mo tanggapin, di ba? Take it, take it. Kasi maraming ibang hindi nabibigyan ng pagkakataon mag-aaral. Ako, um, I was, I am very much thankful to my parents for allowing me to, for giving me, for allowing me to study, you know, giving me education. I studied, the uh, uh, I studied, ah, uh, sorry, I studied, <laughs> I studied elementary and high school in Don Bosco, Makati, and I am thankful enough na nakapag-stay ako doon. Eh, Siyempre, with, with me being biased, I'd like to believe it's a good school. It's a very, very good school. And uh, I'm thankful then of all the the the, the community, the Don Bosco Youth Center community for allowing me to finish my high school via their scholarship. Father I hello. You know, I, I doubt you're gonna watch this, but yeah, I, tapos, uh, I got to study uh, in my mom's school, University of Santo Tomas. Tapos, that's it. Graduated na, then became a flight attendant. So, uh, basta if you have the opportunity to take any four-year, any, any degree, or to study college, why not take it? And and it's not, and any school, ha? So, kasi education is education. And when, as cliche as it may sound, when, when you graduate, nobody can ever take it away from you. It's, it's always gonna provide some form of advantage when you start, um, when you start your adult life, or at least trying to be an adult, you know, study. Story time from Mary Ann Tellez. The topic is hope. And, um, well, I'm hoping, like everybody else, I'm truly hoping that the pandemic will be, if not gone, we can fully manage it like any other former disease. I mean, when I say former, yung mga dating nagkaroon ng outbreak na ngayon, di ba? Uh, it's still dangerous, but we are more confident if ever may encounter natin siya. Yun lang. Uh, to be able to have more um, effective vaccines, uh, or all of us have the parang have the antibodies to to fight the sickness. Yun lang para we can all continuously move forward. Kasi yung dami ng na, I mean yung dami talaga na affected. Everybody na affected. Uh, those who are working, not just in the travel and tourism industry, not just us as flight attendants. Kung baga lahat lahat in one way or another na affected. Kaya yung mga estudyante na katrabaho na those who are retired. Lahat and they are, everybody's been affected in a bad way kahit pa paano, di ba? Uh, of course, I would like to acknowledge everybody those who, who thrive during the pandemic, so kudos to you but still, it's a challenge for majority for the majority of us so sana, sana, sana patuloy lang kung baga sa isang taon, ang dami na nagbago ang dami na nagawang maganda na, ang dami ng adjustments na nagawa so sana magtuloy-tuloy lang para uh, lahat tayo, we could continue on, continue on growing, continue on being successful. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm hoping for. Story time, topic is hairstyle from Stephanie T. Paduyon. I like, I like playing with hair. Um, for the longest time, my hair has been like this. Kailan ko na nga yata magpagupit. O, oh, onti pa, mga dalawang isang linggo pa. Oh, usually pa nagpapagupit ako every two weeks. So, ganun kabilis. Kasi OC ako dito sa gilid. Uh, pagdating sa work, my hair has always been naka, I mean, more or less for the past, again, for the past 10 years, I think. <laughs> Oo. Or fifth or eight Ganyan. Oh, naging halos na brush up lang. Uh, but I remember, I mean, sa airline namin, meron kang 21 days na off. Kumbaga vacation leave mo yun. So, ginagawa ko, nag-play around ako with my hairstyle. Um, so, nung una, my hair was kinda long. Pagpasok ko yung, ano yun, naka one side. 
Tapos, nung na-regular ako, pinakalbo ko kasi, uy, regular na, pwede ka nung mag, mag not follow the rules as much. So, pakal, nasapal na ito, okay na. <laughs> Tapos, um, yun, uh, siguro nung mga first ano ko sa airline, I always liked yung parang nakamuhok, fohok. Kasi talagang nagmuhok ako nun, yung may buntot pa and everything. But always, this has been always clean, more or less. This is my hairstyle has more or less been the same that this has been one way or another kinda clean itong side kasi na OC ako na nag-aayos para wala akong stress dyan tapos I grew my hair when I was about to become in, in uh, during my international grading I grew my hair as in sobrang haba yung tipong pag binagsak mo ganyan as in emo ganun kahaba kaya pag lumalabas ako with my friends aasa rin ko sila parang Justin Bieber kasi yung may bangs, yung batang Bieber, yung may bangs pa na guys, yun sobrang habis. Kaya nagawa ko binabrush up ko lang, tinatago ko dito, pero lahat, lahat to kalbo. Parang nakasemi, parang mohawk, fohawk nga style, mohawk. Tapos, bina, tinatago ko lang with hair, or naka one side to, tapos this one is semi-cal. Tapos, that was been my hair for a couple of years then Tapos, biglang nauso ito. Ito parang, uy, this is perfect for me. Yung fade. So, it's not as ubos. But um, it still it it look makes you look more formal, pero at least clean cut pa rin. Uh, tas umabot sa point na the people in the office parang tip na tawag pa ako kasi hey, that's not allowed in our grooming manual. Tas I had to argue pa na technically it's not, it's allowed etc etc. Tapos naglabas ng bagong manual kung saan ano na yung pwede at hindi yung specific na kasi nakahanap ako ng mga loopholes ko about the hairstyle. But uh, again. Ano lang naman eh, it should always be neat, kaya uh, professional looking, it's, it's defined as away from the face and always neat. Pero more or less, if magto-throwback pics, yan, yeah, ganyan, ganyan lang, brush up lang. Pero naalala ko, pag sinasabi ko nga, pinita ko nga kanina yung mayroon akong vacation na 21 days, yun, nilalaro ko yun. Minsan nagpapakulot ako, nagpapaperm ako, big big waves, small small curls. Kaya minsan pinapahaba ko nga siya, tapos bigla ko ipapakurls. Wala lang, uh, sabi nga ng mom ko, gawin mo lahat sa buhok mo kasi pag tumanda ka na, makakalbo ka din. So at least habang may buhok ka, na-enjoy mo. So thank you Lord. Medyo mataas na, manipis na, pero meron pa rin. Uh, nasa, lahi ng, nasa lahi ng dad ko. <laughs> pero meron pa rin, thank you. Pero tanggap ko pa rin yan, okay na. Uh, basta kung maging Homer Simpson in the future, di okay lang. Di everyday kalbo, wala naman issue sa akin eh. Pero habang nandiyan siya, di... Yeah. Oh! Tsaka ano, parang more than 10, may... may 7, 8 years na yata kung di ko magamit ng suklay. <laughs> Lagi ko lang kamay-kamay ginaganan, kamay-kamay kamay lang. Pero masarap yung masuklay. Ah, hindi, actually masarap yung, yung ginaganan ng sa ulo para kami namasan. Oo, oh, yan. Yan ang hindi ko masyadong ginagod. Nagsusuklay. Naalala ko huling, huling nagdadala ko ng suklay is nung high school pa yata kasi medyo try to be long hair. Eh. Parang nuusa sa amin yung lahat kayo may suklay. Eh, diba? Tapos ano yun? Hair doctor pa. Pag, ano, pag hindi yung plastic lang na maliit. Yan. Yeah. <laughs> Hairstyle. <laughs>